Assalamualaikum Sayyidi. Waalaikum Salaam. Can you please tell us the importance of the color green related to the levels of the heart? Inshallah the green is the khafa realities and the reality and a, a favorite color for Sayyidina Muhammad the green, green dome of Medina and alhamdulillah one of its understandings is uh, resurrection and that to live a life that we die from the physical world and to be resurrected into the hereafter what they consider to be organic means something of a of its original nature so that's why we are uh, of original nature is spiritual that we are from the heavens for a material experience, a dunya experience. The green represents that for us that we are a being that has to be resurrected. That only on this earth when we come that we plant ourselves, isolate and seclude ourselves in our spiritual practices so that which what Allah has hidden within the heart of this creation to blossom and becomes the tree that bears endless fruits for people and humanity to benefit. Imagine if everybody reached to their reality, if they came onto the earth they were good, calm, patient, good character and built themselves what type of fruits Allah would have put upon paradise realities would have been upon this earth and that's why they are waiting for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi to bring about a salvation. And with the presence of Sayyidina Isa salam, after the slaying of Dajjal will be 40 years of Allah's understanding upon this earth. And those 40 years will be a years of paradise upon the earth where they describe the lamb and the lion will sit together. Means that the immensity of paradise realities, the, the goodness of what insan has of realities to come out and all the bad characters won't be exhibited upon this earth for those 40 years. So we pray that Allah give us of these good characters and give us a life in which to see those what they call the golden years of this creation of what Allah had wanted for insan to achieve inshaAllah and that would happen after all of these events inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah When we meditate uh, what are we supposed to do with our hands in relation to grounding? And you had mentioned something about the Ahlul Bayt and the companions on the fingers, importance. Mm -hmm. The meditation inshaAllah is, is important when we're bringing in energy and we have a lot of negative energy that we collect from everywhere around us. It's important to bring in the energy and understand that we have to ground to push out every type of negativity. And, and that is in the breathing practices that when we're breathing and anytime we start to do our energy practices. The positive energy that we're bringing in and with one hand grounding so that all the negativity is to ground out. And that's why also the asa that when we carry the asa is the same, it's the third prong. That as we walk on the earth and, and the electromagnetic force and the dunya energy is coming up the feet. And the heavenly emanations that are tanzir rahmah that are coming to dress the heart and the soul and the clash for insan will then be at the belly because the heavenly energy coming, the dunya energy is coming and then the clash and the root of all sicknesses going to be then the belly. The asa and the cane for both men and women is that they hold and that's a grounding for negative energy so that not to clash. So when they hold the asa then the negative energy is being grounded back to the earth inshaAllah. 
and has the reward of 70 martyrs, anyone who revives the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad So alhamdulillah and, and Allah also has many realities that were described for Sayyidina Musa that what you have in your hand Ya Musa means that this is also a, a protection that if Allah want He put a spiritual energy within the asa and many, many nefarious beings see that energy and stay away because they're carrying the sunnah of the heavens, they carry the, the majesty, the majestic sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad has an immense reality. So that's why we have on the SMC the sunnah of the asa. All of these are a majestic sunnah. So when somebody wears a ring it's not okay, oh this is very stylish, uh, yeah but you got 70 reward of 70 martyrs. In a time in which the importance of Sayyidina Muhammad is by devils trying to be brought down then those whom love are continuously raising that, that we walk with the ring at all times and because it's a majestic sunnah it has a power. If Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad gave power to Sayyidina Sulaiman imagine the power he gives to his lovers whom love him and want everything just for a vision of that reality So their ring has a power and they may not even understand that when they're wearing that what type of negativities are being pushed away because maybe they have eyes that don't see. So I mean has a light. When they walk with an asa we just described how many negativities are taken down, how many positivities are dressed and what Allah dressed upon the asa. If Nabi Musa because how important the asa is, if Nabi Musa had to throw his cane and it became a heavenly dragon that took away and put fear into the magicians of Pharaoh. Those magicians run who? Because they still have the same logo. So history just repeats itself. So then imagine then the asa of Sayyidina Muhammad someone who gets with the intention of reviving the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad that has immense power, immense blessing and immense reality that protect us from all of what Pharaoh is trying to do upon this earth. Could be known to you and most likely unknown to you what's happening on a daily basis when you walk with your, with your asa and everything, everything, the siwak. Imagine then the power of the siwak and how it takes away nifaq fi qalbi wa shirk khafi. It wasn't for bright teeth, it was so whatever negative energies that shaitan and Pharaoh are trying to cast within your mouth, now again it, with this pushing up of these sicknesses everywhere, the ifrit are everywhere, everywhere. Maghrib time becomes an immensely difficult time by the amount of energies that they're coming in billions all around. How many are entering into your mouth? at every moment. So then this becomes like a, a, an asa from heaven. As soon as you put it into your mouth every negativity Allah to withdraw from the mouth. So that the negativity doesn't stay in your mouth, move from your teeth and begin to enter into the heart. Because shaitan is coming into your mouth to enter into your blood, your breathing and go into the heart. And that's why they found that the problems with your teeth is affecting the heart. So they have articles that the, the, the germs on the teeth actually affect heart disease. So I mean everything that we're under attack by, by shaitan and negative energies, everything is in the majestic sunnah. So when we carry that majestic sunnah this should be an immense power from difficulties. Men and women they can keep their siwak in their purse and just 
use it every time they feel there's a negative energy, they feel there's too much yawning, whatever is happening and they do and they can do their siwak before they eat and do the siwak after they eat. So everything that Prophet brought for us then has an immense blessing and uh, revival and, and every, every type of dress that dresses the believer inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Dear Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh Are there any precautions we should take in meditation practice if we are staying at other people's homes? Yeah you have to be anytime we, we're going to meditate and try to open up our energy you want to be sure where you're opening. So we don't open up on a public transit because you're taking in all the energy in that environment. You don't open up at a mall, you don't open up where you're not sure what type of energy is there because the negativity comes and then it can be more of a negative experience than a positive experience. So the meditation is, is best to do where you feel the energy is, is very pure, very good. If there's a friend that meditates also and you feel the energy is very nice then alhamdulillah. But if there's things in their home and, and you don't feel that is a, is a place that you want to open your energy then best not to. And to, to meditate in our own homes, to meditate uh, somewhere where you feel that your, your prayers and, and everything is of a good energy in that environment inshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam uh, Can you please speak on the importance of Ashab al Kahf? It's good, you guys going left to right, right? It's all over the all over the place. <laughs> so from the Ashab al Kaf. What what do we want to speak from them? Alhamdulillah. That requires a completely different talk in in Safar. Yeah, because that the tajalli of Ashab al Kaf and, and the reality of, of that reality. But alhamdulillah the most important is to keep the taweez of Ashab al Kaf because of the reality that it carries and the haiba that it carries to ward off and to leave and to protect us from all these negativities. For safeguarding one's home and, and one's property and residence then Mawlana Shaykh advised for Ashab al Kaf Taweez to be at the front of the house, at the entry point of the home. And then the Names of Ashab al Kaf are on our taweezes. Those names are very important. And uh, inshaAllah, so that if they can read the Arabic, they can read the names of Ashab al Kaf. And that till today, those souls are in charge of many different responsibilities and, and guarding and protecting. Remember, the, 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 those whom passed away are very much alive. These are the, the souls of awliyaullah and what Allah dressed them of their realities from jinn and ins are amongst them. And to be dressed by them, blessed by them, to be taught by them, inspired by them inshaAllah that by keeping the reverence of the tari the, the taweez that Allah inshaAllah make that energy to be always positive around us. When you love what Allah loves, there's an immense blessing. Allah loves these servants that served in a way that Allah would even mention their service in the Qur'an inshaAllah. So then that has an immense barakah, immense blessing inshaAllah their nazar to be upon us and our families and our communities inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Can you explain about the Aytul Kursi du'a and should we be doing it every day? Yeah, Aytul Kursi du'a, alhamdulillah. Yeah, Aytul Kursi du'a is, is important during these times of COVID and if you require to, to recite daily then alhamdulillah you nobody, there's no harm in reciting that daily. Anybody who feels that they're coming under attack, shortness of breath, some sort of a pain and difficulty then to read the du'a from Ayatul Kursi and asking for the madad of awliyaullah, rijalullah and the madad of Sayyidina Hazaz 
and that from these rijal and from what Allah has given to them that that reality of that du'a from these spiritual beings to be present and that they accompany the servant for any type of removal of difficulty inshaAllah. And this is a very strong du'a for the sicknesses that are on earth right now because these sicknesses are from spiritual beings. And that's why we said that these, these are very difficult times because people are not understanding the sickness nor the cure. That when these very dirty spiritual beings come, when if insan is this, when these spiritual beings come too close to humans they have a sickness on them because of the bacteria and everything about them is not to be in the proximity of humans. So when Prophet described pandemics are from these marida, the shayateen that are coming too close onto dunya means they're coming too close to insan. As a result of their spiritual presence next to you that you can see every type of sickness is coming on to you. But not only that, they're trying to come into you. So they're coming in from the back of somebody into their shoulders and into their lungs. So their energy comes, their sickness comes and as a result immediately the person will become weakened and sick by their energy and who they are and they're trying to enter into that insan. So that's why then the medicines from the doctors, the antiviral medicines, the, the vitamins C, the vitamin D, the vitamins of zinc, all is to help your physical body so that your physical body can push off any type of sickness it has. But more important is then the du'a with belief that when you believe and that's what last night's talk was. When I believe and I'm doing everything and I begin to recite that du'a then their presence is coming as a result of that du'a. And Allah knows what type of power that, that du'a and then the ta'weez that we have that goes with that. There's a ta'weez in the, in, the, in the store and that has the name of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani of the Salahu Siru and, and many other realities within that ta'weez. And that is also given for these times. Don't think the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is left empty. They have many sijis, many flags of war that they are bringing upon this earth and preparing themselves for an immense war upon this earth. Something that no eye has seen and no ear has ever heard. And it's not with humans, the humans will all be gone, poor people. It's the, the shayateen that are coming and want to expose themselves. So Allah already has descended many of, of the armaments of heaven upon earth. It's a matter of people believing and going and getting them. So you go get the taweezes and put them into your home, put them onto your being and these are the, the flags from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Ya Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Can I put a taweez print out on my children? As the father keeps on removing the ta'weez I get from the center. Sure inshaAllah, <coughs> whatever, whatever you can do to your ability. Again you can, you can always just make du'a and put it in, in, in the home if it, if it doesn't want it onto the children and then just make du'a that Allah knows best. That please put the faith into this individual so that he doesn't do that and then provide a protection for my children. And you make one step inshaAllah Allah comes 99 steps towards us. So keeping it in the house and, and somewhere that maybe won't be distracting to that individual to see it onto their bodies. But yes, you can print and, and anything that you can do to have that inshaAllah and then just tell us that you've done that so that we can make du'a for that inshaAllah. Khalas. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon. Salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ila sharif al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi wa sahbihi kiram, 
ولا مشايخنا في طريقتنا الشبندية العليا وصيرو صداتنا صدقين الفاتحة